everybody. <clears throat> oh, good morning. How you guys doing? Welcome to another live stream. Today, I'm not hearing my music. Is it because I didn't plug my headphone in? I can do that. No, they're plugged in. What is wrong with that? Hi, Rolf. 900 sub. Yes, I just reached a 900 sub. Thank you very much. Dream Hamster Production, ladies and gentlemen, is in the house. How are you guys doing? And why? Uh, okay, I play around with my... It's, yeah, it's because I play around with my... Um, how am I going to say it? I play around with my... Headphone stuff. Because I did a video on headphone today. And this will be the first subject of the day as soon as I can figure out why... I cannot get anything working in my headphone for some strange reason. Um, let's take a look at that. What is wrong with my headphone? We have the source. This is what I usually set my headphone at. I got this, I got this. I was an output B. Oh, it happened, I guess. And now I have a lot of gain on this microphone for some reason that I don't know. And it feels just over compressed. Good morning, everybody. I'm there for real now. <coughs> <coughs> I got a little cough. Don't worry. I went out and did my thing. And I don't have any disease that I won't name here. But I'm fine. Thank you. I just, just a regular cold. Nothing to worry about. Good. So, like R Ralph was saying, uh, R Ralph, Ralph, sorry, Ralph was saying, um, 900 sub, thank you very much you, to everybody who subscribed. You have no idea how much I appreciate um, that you take time to press that button. I know it's not a lot, but to me, it means the world. Um, like the video. If you didn't like the video yet, please, that helps. YouTube know that this video exists and they will put it forward having new people watching it and maybe they can learn something from these live stream or I hope this is something that we can do together learning something here. Is it me or my camera is just crooked? Hold on. Huh. Looks better. Looks more level to me. So, how was your weekend, guys? I'm... Okay. First, before we start, I need to say, I'm starting really early today, the live stream, and I will leave at 1.30 my time. It's currently 12.52, but I need to leave at 1.30 because I have an event today. I will be working for the rest of the day until midnight. So, this is why I have to do a early short video because I don't want to let you guys down. And also, because I said it before, I will take a break. I will take a break starting from just after Christmas. So if we count, we don't have that many live stream left. We have on the 13 and maybe on the 20 because I'm supposed to be booked on a TV show that day. So maybe that will happen. Maybe not. And maybe I can bring my microphone closer so you guys don't hear a lot of room instead of me talking into the mic. I think it's going to sound better. So on the 20th May of December, maybe I can make it. And after that, the next live stream will be... Ooh, it will be in a long time. It will be on February 14th. Because I will be leaving for Florida for a month. Then I come back on February. A couple of days uh, in the month. I have a gig on the Saturday on February 5th. And after that, I will be leaving for a couple shows. And once I get back home on a Monday, I will do a live stream. I'll do my best. I have a, a couple day off that I will take to do some video for you guys. The channel won't go dark for a month. That will be YouTube suicide. I don't want to do that. But I will take a break of these live stream. We'll come back with new stuff soon. 
So, uh, this the disease that should not be named remind me of something. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not a big Harry Potter fan, but yeah, went for that vibe. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> just gonna get it out of my system. How was your weekend? It was terrible, 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 because they changed all my windows in my apartment two days ago. Yeah, minus 10. Uh, I think it's minus 10 Celsius right here too. So I think I feel your pain. Oh, oh no! Right now it's 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 hot outside. It's six degrees in Montreal. Can you guys see this? Yep. I'm on the South Shore of Montreal. It's uh, freezing rain that is happening outside. It's going to be fun. But yeah, I feel your pain. Um, I feel your pain, Rob, because they changed my window in my house last year around the same time. And it was one day was fine. It was around zero. And the day after it was minus 20. Changing a door when it's minus 20. The guy did a poor job. Seriously, they had to do it again. And it was freezing cold inside my house. And I mean, literally freezing cold. So. Minus 14 right now. Yeah. We're getting into the minus two. We were having a lot of snow. And um, the weather is just. Ugh, for lack of a better word. Right now. Freezing rain. Well, we had snow. You know, the, the best combination. We had a layer of snow that start to melt a little so you have ice snow and freezing rain over the top of it i can't wait to get out of here <laughs> as much as i love you guys uh it's gonna feel better in florida if anybody in florida want to do a live stream by the way let me know maybe i can work something with you or if anybody know a store that would be interesting for me. If anybody know a store that would have the uh, the system that it would take for me to do these live stream and want to do a partnership, I don't mind uh, talking to them. If you if you're watching this and you have a store where you have a wing on display and you have a couple light, I'm gonna bring my GoPro uh, with me anyway, and I'm gonna bring my one of my Sony camera anyway. So if you if you have um, everything else, an internet connection and and um, a console, I can probably keep doing those live stream for you guys. If you know anybody in Florida or around that, anywhere that is around twenty Celsius degrees, I will go there. Um. Sorry, Rob, I don't get what, uh, I don't get what you mean here. Did the end fall freeze over, uh, I, sorry, I don't get that. 60 degrees in, in GA. How, uh, how much, uh, is that in Celsius? I'm sorry. I'm using the same system as everybody else in the world. 60... Fahrenheit in Celsius. I know it's not that cold. Oh, it's 15 degrees Celsius. It's not that bad. Right now it's six and it's gonna go below the freezing point. I don't I don't remember what is the freezing point in, um, in Fahrenheit. In Celsius, it's easy, it's zero. Yeah, snow, water, snow. Fog and freezing temperature. Yeah, I'll, I left out the the point fifty six. <laughs> uh, did the Niagara Fall freeze over last year? Uh, really? That could happen? I don't think so. It's no, I don't believe it. Maybe on the top, but it cannot freeze over. That would nah. You're you're fooling with me, Rob. It's impossible. I wanna if if it really if it really happened, I wanna have an article on that. Please. 
Uh, forget to say hi, Colin. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the live stream. It's good to have you around. It's good to have you, all, all of you guys around. Seriously. I'm proud of the community that we have and the level of information that we can give. I really like the fact that people after these live stream watch um, the shows and many people tell me that they learn something out of this. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much to the people who are here in the chat, like Rolf, like Rob, like Colin, uh, all the regular one, you know who you are. Thank you very much for helping out people that would need information. Okay, wanted to talk about something. I had a message or a YouTube comment today about my video that I did on headphone and I will I will apologize to you guys. I don't feel it's my best video so far, honestly. Um, I rushed the edit to get it out and maybe I should uh, wait and listen to it one more time. But it's out. It's out there. It's give you the, after rewatching it, it give you the information that you need. And I'll apologize for the extra crap that I put in there. Okay. Headphone level. I had Dale who write me on the YouTube video. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> the good thing is you cannot catch it. Dale said, uh, I have always run delay on my headphone, but for some reason, uh, I just, uh, I just got the wing and I have problem with headphone volume in solo mode. I have plenty of volume when it's uh, when monitoring the main out, but when I solo anything or attempt to pan solo in the EQ, the level drop to unusable level. I'm guessing here around 30 dB of level drop. Any idea what I'm doing wrong? Thanks for this video. Really good question. We're going to take a look at that. Let's go here. And the console is not straight. Come on, come on. Got to move my mic out of the way. There we go. Oh no, it's not straight, but it looks better. Let's go with that. We'll take a look at the monitoring section. Okay. Couple of option, the thing that could go wrong here in the screen. Delay, you know, your way around delay. No problem with that. You're all good. Source level, PFL, and mix level will have influence on stuff like that. Uh, the dim here will have a, a, an influence too. I want to take a look at something. Right now, I'm PFLing my background music so I can have it in my headphone and hearing when I'm talking to you. I want to switch to my solo here of my microphone. If I turn down the dim function, is it going to affect my stuff? No. But if I turn it on here, oh yeah, here we go. This will solo. No, it's going to dim everything. Hmm. So maybe it's not the dim here. Maybe it's the PFL and the band solo dim that we need to check. Band solo dim. Band solo, it's a boost. It's not a dim. So, okay. Let me check something. Now I solo the main out. It's really loud. If I solo an input, even with PFL dim, is it going to turn down my input no it's still at a decent level actually because everything is at zero or nominal on my console the fact that i'm pressing solo or releasing it and listen to the main is the same thing here um hmm this is strange i would not know why it would do that um i'll put me a and b maybe no this will have no influence at all. If I turn it down, nope, nothing. P 
PFL, no, nothing. Ben is a boost only. So that's a no go. Dim nothing. So the mix, source mix, that will do its job. It's gonna only gotta take out my main out, my source here. And source level, maybe, nope, nothing. Source level and source mix does nothing that will drop down only when I'm PFLing. Anybody? Um, may I ask, Rob, why do you think source mix is set too high in your view? Or to your opinion? Because when I set it up, ooh, it switched to B. When I set it up like that, I hear the background music uh, <coughs> at zero dB, and this is exactly what I want to use it for. I want to listen. Oh no, I'm choppy again. Am I? No, it's not. Okay. Uh, when I listen to my, I don't know, I feel choppy again. So I have a problem with my GoPro camera. Okay. We'll check that eventually. Um, <coughs> Basically, what I'm doing with the solo is I'm having, I'm having my background music playing uh, for you guys, and I monitor that through my headphone, but I don't want to send it back. I don't want to loop out into uh, what you're hearing because you're hearing the MP3 directly from the source. You hear the computer playing the MP3, and it just embed into the stream and go out to you. On top of that, I add my console. I had microphone here in down, that I can turn down but if I don't want to create a loop I just send out my music that way and for me to hear it and you guys not to hear it I just click solo on that and that's a workaround <clears throat> um hey Hyven How's it going, man? Welcome. Um, Rob, source mix include your solo channel as well. It's not mix minus. Turn it down so the other control can do his deed. Ooh, okay. I'm talking about, I'm talking with the right guy for that. So, okay. So source mix will go down. Now I don't hear my vocal in my monitor again. And I will press solo on my vocal here. Now, if I dim that, it's not dimming at all. Maybe I need to reset it. No, it's not dimming by 40 dB. PFL dim, okay, PFL dim will do his job. PFL dim, okay, yeah, I understand what I did wrong. Because I had the source mix and I'm st still send out my vocal to the main out, it just stay at zero because I'm still sending signal. It's an they the source mix will add to the original signal. <clears throat> I get that. So maybe to uh, to answer Dale's question, maybe a PFL is <coughs> sorry. <coughs> I didn't cough that much, like the, the whole week that I've been sick. So maybe the PFL and maybe the band solo, because if I go here and listen to band solo, band solo two, let's go three, solo three. Yeah, I just don't hear it. It's, un it's literally unusable at this point. Is it because I have, yeah. Okay, so Dale, yes. Thanks to Rob here, we actually found what the problem was. It's your PFL that is enabled on your solo setting or yeah, I said that right. It's on the solo setting and oh, that's loud. I'm going to guess it's also affecting the band uh, soloing. So. If I come back here, set my 
source dimmer zero i don't know why it switched to b what have i done wrong maybe you guys can help me that i did something wrong oh yeah sorry about the screen okay let me do that again for dale it's it's my fault Not the dimmer, PFL dim. PFL dim will affect what's going on into the output. Where I had things set up wrong is when I had my source here, my source mix to be up. If I turn down my source mix, I don't hear my main out blend in with the source that I have. I don't, my, my, I don't hear out my solo level in my source blend together i'm just hearing my solo level so if i switch now to my solo being my microphone the pfl here will affect the signal that going out into my headphone it will also affect the signal going into my eq if i go here band three solo that uh it's really quiet but if i ooh, the band solo is really quiet like yeah i understand why they have a db boost here i would seriously use the 24 db boost for that feature it will it makes sense okay i don't know what i did wrong hey herman welcome i don't know what i did wrong but for some reason my when i change something here my monitor switch from a to b i would need to re-watch the stream to see what happened there but playing around with this or is it when i switch to the band eq i don't know if we have a bug here band eq band eq is there i can still hear it i'm still on a what's going on okay this is this click here does nothing click here does nothing well i mean nothing that the eq the the output select doesn't change if i'm doing this it doesn't change if i yeah okay as soon as i select my music to be in playback it switch out to be let's see what we got going on here it's on the channel itself Selected to be into solo bus B. This is what happened. <clears throat> Am I still choppy? Is it? No, it's not that bad. It's choppy, but it's not terrible. Which I need to fix, by the way. Uh, eventually, when I'm, we come back, I'm going to keep that set up. But at some point, I will have a Sony camera there instead of having my GoPro. Uh, we'll make things way more easier. That way, I could stream 1080p 60 for, hertz for you guys. 60 image per second. Okay. We got about 15 minutes left. Anything that you guys want to talk about? Uh before i leave because i have to leave hardly in 15 minutes or is the console time not right oh the console is an advance a little bit i can turn that down a couple minute um is it yeah it's 11 set there we go it's one It's one o'clock, 10 minutes. I have to leave at one thirty. So 20 minutes before I leave, I have to leave no matter what, I'm sorry. So if you have any question <coughs> that you guys want to hear me <coughs> cough about, <coughs> feel free to ask, this is why we're here today. Actually, any subject that you guys want to want to see video about i'm looking for subject because i need to prepare uh like 10 video for my 
vacation before I leave. I need to get ready like 10 video. Probably small subject. I'm not gonna go too deep into 10, 20 minutes video. I want to keep it like between three and between three and five before I leave. So. Last week, I found out the right uh, the best way to the right knob section to hold my iPad. Yes, I actually done the same thing before. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry that, to the designer who decided to put the signal processing section on the console. I understand why. I understand it's looking... Uh, I understand some other console have that, but for the workflow of the wing and the future of the wing and probably is other version because i'm still hoping at some point that we're gonna have um a wing rack a wing light or a little wing as some people <clears throat> uh, joked about before so if we have a little wing at some point maybe it will be the first thing that will go because everything is screen centered pretty much or I should say, I could do a show with having only... Yeah, this is my use for my um, jog wheel, by the way. Uh, some people would use a custom control, some people would use that, but I could do a show with only that section of the console, this being the master and having 12 fader that I would run or cover into DCA at some point eventually um but uh yeah i could do a show with 16 fader that will be enough for me to, to do so yes a wing rack will be awesome anyone make a cover for that section no i think it should <laughs> i can seriously I, i'm never gonna use it Uh, from Dan, last week I asked about monitor solo input via headphone during live performance. Figure out the problem. My uh, my predecessor had root bus 7 and 8 to local out 7 and 8. <laughs> oh yeah. To understand what he's talking about is when you, um, when you set up the routing here in the output menu of your... Uh, is it the local out? It's the aux out. Seven and eight is what is sent into the... Seven and eight is the uh, sent into the headphone preamp. So whatever you have in there, actually, I need to do a video about that. Um, if you are in a... <coughs> Sorry, guys. I'm going to apologize a lot for coughing, but bear with me. Only 15 minutes left. <coughs> Uh, in the studio setup, I've helped somebody to build his own setup around the wing. Um, and we use that that output, so aux, seven, aux out 7 and 8 in the back that is also split to the headphone for his listening mix for singer because he's tracking vocal at home. And we uh, place his monitor to be monitor A and B into the other output so he can have two set of speaker monitor and have an independent control over the headphone. So he can use the headphone preamp for vocalist, for guest vocalist. That will be in my, uh, sorry guys, I need to, to finish this, the studio stuff really soon. I, I said I would do a series about it and life got so busy that I just went around it and I want to get back to that. I want to get back to mixing station. Uh, I, I will do my best to fix that. Um, <clears throat> I'm not flex flexing about my uh, economic use of Fader. If I was to, flick to, to flex about that, I would say that I've done a thousand show only using a DCA. Uh, on an iPad before and 
this is not something that I want to do, honestly. This is this is the only thing that I miss about digital console is having a lot of fader and a lot of knob in front of me. Hear me out. I'm not talking about EQ. I'm not talking about um, <coughs> sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna say what I miss is having a pan knob for every uh, effect for every fader and also having physical aux sen for delay. The tactile feeling of having or being able to have two N and do two things at the same time, like having a delay sen or multiple delay sen, multiple vocal that I can send into a delay for a live show and turn it really hard. This is something that I miss instead of just having like to mute and unmute my delay input. <clears throat> I miss Dan, but otherwise I'm really happy with digital. If only digital could have a fader, a pad knob and a delay send for every fader on top, I will be really happy. I miss that part of the analog world. Other than that, there is no way I would plug a lot of rack unit insert again because half of the time it's not working it's backward because the guy before you had a sound craft so they inverted all the in and out of the rack i never want to go back there please <laughs> but there is some cool stuff about digital i'm carrying uh, i'm carrying by myself a lot of gear of a lot of analog equivalent gear into a really small form factor rack or case <coughs> I should say so uh, from Hedman what is your favorite uh, kick mic two option you said one one that I really like is the d6 my favorite is the Bayer dynamic d71c uh, it's different than the bit of 91 from sure I'm not I'm not really against the 91 anymore but if i have the option to have a mic that is less clicky or the the eye frequencies on the uh, on the d71 from bayer is different it's around 2k instead of four i i just cut it instead of boosting the in like i do on the 91 or used to do on the 91 scooping the mid a lot i, I just cut around 2k like is this what I had on? Yeah, this is probably what I had uh, on this mic, on this bass drum. This, oops, sorry, I'm gonna show you the console. Uh, the mic, the natural curve of the microphone is looking something like this, or that would be flat, and it has a little bump around 2K. We're talking about the D51, D71C from Bayer. So what I do is I scoop the mid out of my kick just i just like the sound and that little 2k bump i just bring it down and sometimes i bring it down a lot because that give me uh the um the, that get oh, sorry that gave me the false feeling of having a lot of ion information left because i scooped the mid and i scooped that 2k ish so that's a really really uh punchy bass heavy drum sound that i can get out of this it doesn't sound like metallica but it's definitely in if i wanted to sound more pantera ish or metallica ish with that bass drum i could just by lifting the eq or put it flat it would be in your face beater kind of sound um d6 is also really cool for a kick out i don't use a lot of kick out anymore because i I'm, I'm never really happy with two mic on the bass drum. For some reason, I just feel like it's always phasing. It's not, it's always not ideal or I can get, I can really get away with one. I never, <coughs> never really had any problem with one. So I just stick around with my plate inside the bass drum, no mic stand, short in out of a venue. And that's it. <laughs> I 
And uh, for your D6, if you can get it about a ninch over the hole in your bass drum, like, uh, yeah, put it out of the bass drum about an inch out and you will get really good low end out of that uh, head on. The, no, I didn't, um, I didn't change the lens. <coughs> I'm sorry. I think I missed something in the chat. Sorry, guys. Did you switch the fisheye lens to an ultra wide because it looks better? No, it's actually an option on the uh, GoPro. I realized something, no matter what I do or what I set the GoPro to, um, the HDMI output out of the back will, or the side, I should say, will be 1080, 25 frame. So I just changed the camera until I reach the, because you have angle option in the GoPro. I just set it to being uh, flat. So it's like, a, 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 a instead of being a fisheye, it give me a narrower field of view, but it's flat. So the, it's uncurved wing. It's a, it's the flat wing now that we have. <coughs> Does anybody know if Behringer considered to add a undo button? Undo. Uh, there is a, f a feature request for it. I'm, pr <coughs> I'm pretty sure uh, some people have that. Yeah. It's a, it's an I'm pretty sure it's in the work at some point. It's probably not a priority because I think there is some bug fix and thing that they want to have uh, in before that. But yes, it's probably in the work at some point. It, it's on the list. When we gonna get it there? What I say we? I'm not working for Behringer. When are they gonna get there? I don't know, but it's definitely uh, on the list. Hey, Pancho, welcome. Sorry, I'm. To let you know, I'm leaving in <clears throat> six minutes because I got to go to work. I got an event today. I'm not going to be leaving with the wing. I will be technical director of a really boring, I'm going to guess, event. It's a Christmas party. I'm going to have like a single laptop that will run a video and one wireless microphone to say the boss of the company would say, Thank you, everybody. We made a lot of money this year. We need to make more next year. Have a good lunch on us and get drunk. That's that's about my my day. I'm going to have that <coughs> with background music, Christmas music the whole evening. That's going to be my day. Uh, from Dan. Don't forget, please send us pic and video from your vacation. Oh, trust me, I will. I will do some short video. Make sure that you watch the short video. I can do them easily with my phone. I don't have to video edit, even uh, uh, even though I will have the possibility to edit. If I, I'm gonna say it again. If anybody is in is near Florida or the, I will spend also sometimes in Memphis and uh, Nashville. If anybody is there and want to do a collab video, uh, let me know. Hit me up. I will probably drive by your place at some point. I'll let you know. Just keep in mind that I will be traveling in a 34-foot RV. So if you live on a really uh, narrow street or you are really far in the wood, maybe I cannot make it. But otherwise, if you seem like a nice guy, you want to do a collab video, maybe a live I will be willing to do it with any of you guys. Next time, come to Europe. Actually, I was supposed to be in Europe right now. I was offered uh, to go tour manage a band for four days in Europe, but it just didn't happen. And the offer was on the table at some point. We were waiting for, you know, all the... This, okay, this is something you know. I will try to, to, to leave you guys on something that is some kind of information today. Uh, French community around the world do events together. We have uh, Montreal Francophonie. They have Montreux Francophonie and somewhere else. Uh, and we, we just 
exchange artists like you know it's a it's three plays that have the same festival basically and you know the two two artists from europe come down here in quebec and we send somebody else and it's just like a four or five show tour around those city and i was like on that kind of exchange i was supposed to go with an artist but maybe you know they only pick one artist i was supposed to be with one of four choice from the label that asked me to do that and maybe none of these artists were selected to do it so ask warren you were uh, yeah i i think uh i think rob you, you would need to set that up for me i i don't know warren and i don't know he, if he wants to see more angry canadian <laughs> he, he just he, he I don't want to say he get rid of Glenn Fricker, but uh, I'm just going to say uh, he he just Glenn just came back to Canada, so I don't know if he wanted to see another angry Canadian in in or around the studio. <coughs> I would love to, by the way. If Warren, if you ever watch this video, I would love to go over and talk about and bring you. Oh, actually, I would love to bring you over to my world. I would like would like to to bring you. Uh, in the live sound world. Oh, Rob, you don't like Glenn Fricker? Sorry. <coughs> well, guys, I need to call it a day. Because <coughs> I'm sick. Well, I don't know why I'm coughing that much. Um, Oren, okay, Oren, I will try to, to w first welcome to the channel. I don't think I've seen you before, so if I if I do, uh, I'm really sorry. Uh, but you got a question? It will be the last one before I leave. Hi there. So I've been experimenting a, a new issue where Fredo move on their own. Don't know why. Uh, the first thing that I would tell you is if your fader are moving, I've saw that before, and it was happening from the screen make sure that you double check your screen make sure that you uh test your screen i mean you don't have any screen ghosting so that way it's good okay the thing that i've seen before is somebody been here on this home fader and uh, the screen just sorry on his home fader and the screen just moved that fader that way so the fader are moving and it was screen ghosting so Oh, first time here? Welcome. Uh, give that a try. Make, g get your console into test mode. I have a video about that. Take a look at that. And yeah, just make sure you don't have a bad screen. If you do have a bad screen, get in touch with uh, Music Tribe to, to make it fixed. Eventually, I'm not going to say it's... Uh, I don't think they are caught up with fixing all these problem and it's not Behringer's fault. It's the supply company that making the screen, I believe. Uh, all that to say, get in line, get your ticket, get your repair ticket and get it fixed. Uh, if you have a screen problem, you can use a USB mouse to control your wing. Check that out. And if it's not of uh, these problem. Like Rob just said, check out your MIDI. Make sure that you don't send any MIDI information from anywhere. And... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. <coughs> and... Um, yeah. If it's none of that, maybe you have a bad fader motor or you have ghosts in the machine somewhere. Uh, get it fixed but it, it should not it should not move by itself maybe some MIDI information could do that and that's not a that's not a problem your console is not wrong but other than that I will have it check it out uh, if you find any other problem on this note guys I'm off to work I know some of you guys just finished work time for me to go I will Try not to get drunk on uh, on on the client uh, bill. That will be my hardest goal today, is to try to stay sober while mixing one microphone.
If you like that video, just like Rolf did, give it a thumbs up. If you are not yet subscribed to the channel, like Oren, I know you have to be subscribed to see, uh, to, to write down in the chat here. So thank you very much for subscribing. If you are not yet subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Until the next one, please take care of yourself. Don't get sick like I am. <coughs> take care of yourself. I will see you guys really soon. Have a good week. Good week. Stick around for video. I'm out. Bye.